The Schumann resonance is a set of electromagnetic resonant frequencies that exist in the Earth's atmosphere. It was first predicted by the German physicist Winfried Otto Schumann in 1952 and later discovered in the early 1960s. The Schumann resonance frequencies are extremely low frequency electromagnetic waves that occur in the range of approximately 7.83 to 33.8 Hz. The global source of excitation for the Schumann resonance is global lightning activity. Lightning discharges around the world produce powerful electromagnetic waves that propagate and resonate within the Earth ionosphere cavity. These waves create standing waves and establish the characteristic frequencies of the Schumann resonance. While the Schumann resonance itself does not have any direct practical applications, its study has contributed to the development of techniques for monitoring global lightning activity. Some researchers have explored potential connections between the Schumann resonance and biological systems, suggesting that it may have implications for human health and well-being. Recently, the Schumann resonance resonance has been lingering at about 8.5 Hz, which is a notable deviation from the norm of 7.83 and raises some serious questions. However, it's important to note that variations in the Schumann resonance frequency are not uncommon and can be influenced by several factors such as variations in global lightning activity, alterations in the electrical properties of the ionosphere, solar flares, geomagnetic storms, human-made electrical equipment, inaccuracies in the measurement device, or maybe the Earth's poles are shifting or something. Hello my friends, this is Alien Contactee Linol Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. In today's video, as you can see by the beginning clip there, we're talking about the Schumann Resonance. That's right, that's all anybody can talk about, whether you're in the spiritual community, truth community, conspiracy community, is the Schumann Resonance. And why are people talking about it? Well, last week my friends, I believe it is on a Sunday or a Monday, it went to how it normally is such as like this. That's right, that's what we're usually looking at. It's around seven hertz, or around that area, but lately it's been going a lot higher. Some days it'll be a 50 or 40 or 80 some days even. But that day, my friends, as you can see, it turned into this. That's right. What the heck? We've never seen a pattern like that before, right? And it was at a power 190. Okay? Just absolutely insane. And yes, a lot of people are feeling it. I was feeling it. A major energetic shift in the world. So we got multiple different theories of people who think they know it all. Uh, saying what they think it is and so in today's video I'm just going to go over some of those theories and tell you what I believe is happening. So the first theory is people in one certain spiritual aspect of the communities, maybe the new age crowd and whatnot, they're all saying that uh, this is DNA upgrades, this is the 5D ascension, right? 5D ascension event, uh, the high vibrational energy coming in and uh, we're, we're, this is the beginning of the ascension process, okay? So we got that community of people saying that, but then we got the more conspiracy community, and they're saying, no, this is, uh, this is you know, uh, CERN, this is uh, 5G, this is HARP, uh, and this is bad, this is horrible, this isn't good, these people in the spiritual communities are nuts, this and that. So we got the two different communities, and I'd like to think that the truth uh, is somewhere right in the middle of those two. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I believe is going on. Is this good energy coming in? Is this bad? Is this part of the agenda? This and that. And does this have anything to do with the arrival of Nibiru? Does it have anything to do with CERN? Oh, my friends, we're going to get right into it. So make sure before we get into it, hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. And uh, also smash that like button because I cover all these topics, my friends. And just a quick shout out to my sponsors, Wellies Liver Detox. Friends, it's so important. We're taking care of our health and detoxing in these days because we're being poisoned on every level. And if you want to make it out of the matrix, you got to be clean and detox. They're attacking our livers. You want to clean out that liver, my friends. So look into Wellies Liver Detox. All natural, non-GMO. It's the only supplement company I trust. Link is down below. Check it out, my friends. Uh, it has all the information there. So let's just get right into it now. All right, my friends. So what is the truth? What is the truth of what's going on here? Is this good or is this bad? We have a lot to cover, okay? And I'm going to get to the Nibiru stuff and how this all links to that. But before we do, I just want to get to is this good energy or is this bad energy? 
is this high vibrational from source coming in or is this from 5G and man-made technologies? Okay, my friends? Well, my friends, what it comes down to is, you know, uh, I don't blame the conspiracy community for uh, thinking that this is something man-made and thinking that this is part of an NWO agenda. I don't blame them because after what we just went through with the thing that they want you to get and all those kind of things, I, I understand why people would be thinking that. Absolutely. And we're going to read off some of the symptoms of 5G radiation EMF frequencies. Okay. And then we're going to read off some of the symptoms of Schumann resonance symptoms. Okay, my friends? So, some symptoms of, e of EMF radiation. This is like Wi Fi, 5G, stuff like that, power lines, cables, stuff that's not good for us. You could get headaches, tremors, dizziness, memory loss, loss of concentration, sleep disturbances, insomnia. Okay, that's some of the things. And a lot of people have been reporting that, especially once this uh, Schumann resonance thing. Uh, started off. Now take a look at some of the symptoms of the Schumann resonance right here. That's right. So as you can see, we have a lot of the same symptoms, but there's a few symptoms on there that are different. Okay, you have stuff like euphoria, uh, which is kind of like a high feeling. A lot of people have been uh, describing, including myself, a uh, feeling of like you're on psychedelic drugs, like you're on LSD when you're not, right? Uh, seeing grids and patterns, hallucinations, which is usually a sign of something spiritual, right? Usually you reach those states. Well, like I said, psychedelic drugs is very spiritual. It's connecting you to higher realms. But even being sober and going to a state of meditation, you'll start seeing these psychedelic grids and patterns, right? Well, people have been... Uh, experiencing that, especially when these Schumann uh, blasts start coming in and the solar flares start coming in. So very interesting. That's not something that you usually get with 5G, right? Uh, people have been having spiritual awakenings all over the world as well. That's why they call it the Great Awakening, right? Uh, insights and epiphanies about things. So that's a good sign, really. And that's something to tell the two symptoms apart, okay? Uh, you have a lot of people right now who are having very bad times and not experiencing some of those things, and they are just experiencing really bad anxiety, panic attacks. and uh, But then you have people who are not experiencing any of that as well with these Schumann blasts. They're experiencing things such as um, love, feelings of love and and peace and tranquility. They're reaching these psychedelic states, these beautiful states of mind, okay? So that's another sign to me that maybe what is happening is actually very positive. Uh, because if it was 5G or something like that, which is a frequency that's very negative for all humans, uh, then everybody would be experiencing that. And you wouldn't be getting so many reports of people having uh, these wonderful, beautiful experiences. So what can explain uh, these bad experiences people are happening or are, are having, my friends. Well, I'll tell you right now. Uh, I'm going through a hard time myself uh, with these energies that are coming in. And I know lots who are. But there's one common theme with myself and these other people, and that's we haven't done our healing yet. Uh, or we, we've been working on our healing. I've been working on healing like crazy, but I had a lot to heal, my friends. I've gone through a lot in my life. Uh, my chakras have not been cleared yet. And the common theme is the people who are struggling right now are the people who have a lot of work to do and who have blocked energy. Because at the end of the day, I do believe this is high vibrational energy that's coming in. See, humans, our uh, frequency level is around five hertz. And in recent years, they've been saying we've been going up to 10 hertz. Okay, that's what the human body is used to. Very low, very dense, okay? That's why we're in this 3D matrix, right? Because it's very low and very dense. Well, we had a power 190 coming in. So take it from 10 up to 190. 
Well, it's like we're our frequency is in vibration is being forced to raise and see what happens, that's actually a very positive thing, if you ask me. But the problem of the matter is, is uh, our ego, our egoic mind, which isn't actually us, it's an AI program. But uh, it's like an algorithm, and we, we get confused that it's us, it's not actually us, you are not your thoughts. But it's freaking out, because pretty much what's happening is, I do believe this ascension event is happening. And we are being pulled to this 5D reality. And uh, the people who are fighting it, and the people who haven't done their work, uh, my friends, the ego is freaking out. Because you're literally being forced to go to this higher vibration. And the ego does not want that. The ego wants you stuck in the matrix. Like I said, it's an AI algorithm designed to keep you in the matrix to allow these reptilians and these... Uh, fourth dimensional AI that controls this matrix we're inside uh, to feed off us. That's why your ego is mainly negative all the time, right? It's the truth. The ego is always negative, right? And it it uh, siphons our louche, it's called, and it powers this matrix. So we're starting to break free of this high vibrational energy and the ego's freaking out, and the energy's getting stuck in the chakras, which creates all these symptoms, my friends. And I can tell you right now, energy will do that. Uh, I have an active kundalini, and I released it originally in 2017, 2018, before 5G towers were up. And the energy got stuck in my head, and I had all these symptoms. Uh, insomnia, loss of concentration, all that stuff, and that's before 5G and people worldwide were experiencing all this stuff. So I'm telling you, it's all frequencies at the end of the day, and if you have blocked energy, it could do that. Another example, and then we're going to get into the Nibiru stuff right after I tell you this, but another example is if you've ever gone anywhere where there's ley lines on the earth, uh, like to the pyramids or uh, Stonehenge, this or that, it's very high vibrational energy there, it's energy ley lines, right? and everybody goes there feels the energy. It's very, very intense. While these energies coming in from the Schumann uh, is like that, my friends. And I've been to the pyramids, I've been to the Great Pyramids, I've, I've been to ley lines all over the world, okay? And yes, when I go to these ley lines, which there's no 5G there, right? But holy crap, I can't concentrate, I get anxiety, and it's, it's a lot because it's too much for this body to handle. And that's not anything man-made, that's actual energy of the world, of the matrix, okay, my friends? But it's not necessarily from 5G towers or anything like that. Okay, so a lot of these people in the conspiracy communities are thinking, oh, it's 5G, it's this or that. These people are obviously people who uh, are not sensitive to energy or who do not understand the way energy works. And they've obviously never been to these ley lines or have experienced them themselves. They are probably just conspiracy-minded people, which I don't blame them after what we just went through. But uh, they're just going off things they read or they heard, but they're not experiencers. Or if they are experiencing uh, negative uh, effects, uh, they don't understand what's happening to them. Because they're still very... Um, they might be awakened politically and all that, but they're not awakened spiritually yet to understand what's really going on. And that's just my opinion, okay? Uh, that's just my opinion. No attacks to anybody. I could be wrong about all this too. I'm just giving you guys my opinion. So let's get to the, the Nibiru and the CERN part of it all, okay, my friends? All of this is directly related to the arrival of Nibiru, which is happening right now. Um, but it's not what people think it is. Uh, we're inside of a matrix simulation. It's the Nibiru simulation, my friends. And pretty much it's a low vibrational matrix by the reptilians made to harvest our, our energy. But you guys also have to realize we are in the middle of a galactic war right now too. It's all part of a much bigger galactic war between the reptilians and several other ET races, including Pleiadians, Lyrans, and uh, much more. Okay, and we have both dark forces and good forces at work here. And in this sim simulation, they have uh, 
they, they do something called the Great Matrix Reset, and they do it all the time. It happens uh, much more frequently than you would imagine. Okay, my friends? It happens a lot more than you'd imagine. Uh, some people say once every 3,600 years, but I think it's even sooner than that. I'm guessing once every 1,000 years, once every 700 years, I've heard. But uh, civilizations get to a certain point of knowledge where it's a threat to the powers that be, so they keep on resetting the matrix and they do that by destroying it and uh, bring and they do that using a weapon and it's called Nibiru now in real base reality that maybe it was it is a real planet or something like that okay and there was an event like that happened but we are inside of a matrix simulation of maybe what happened in real base reality and to take it a step further we might be inside Nibiru right now and I cover that in another video, my friends. Um, check out my Nibiru playlist. All those videos are there explaining exactly what it is. Take a look. All right. In one of my videos in there, I talk about CERN. And I'm going to link it at the end of this video, too. But pretty much what's happening here is uh, the powers that be here on Earth are using CERN, that uh, technology they have, I think it's in Switzerland or whatnot, and they're using that technology to pretty much open up a portal to a higher dimension. And it's, uh, that's what's happening. And Nibiru uh, is pretty much a, another dimension coming in more so than a planet. See, the whole planets and this and that, you gotta realize all that stuff is, is uh, it's a lot of fake fakery by NASA. They're lying about everything. Planets are not what you think they are. Uh, nothing's physical. The only thing that's physical is what's in this 3D realm. Everything outside this realm is interdimensional. And Nibiru is said to be kind of like a planet, but kind of like a spaceship too, a higher dimensional planetary spaceship pretty much. And uh, they're opening up a portal pretty much to another realm, a higher dimension, maybe the fourth dimension, something like that. We're actually inside the fourth dimension right now. Our consciousness is just being projected into this 3D realm. But pretty much worlds are colliding. And to us, it looks like uh, planets coming in already around the world. They're seeing a second sun and whatnot. I'm going to like uh, show you a video at the end of this video of the Nibiru sightings we're getting worldwide. And I don't know if that might be some hologram technology being used or if that's just the manifestation of this other dimension that's coming in. But uh, with this CERN technology that's bringing in this, it's affecting everything. You ought to realize everything's being affected here, my friends, including the sun. Of course, uh, this massive object that's coming in and CERN messing around with the frequencies of this matrix. It affects everything, including the sun. And the sun is shooting off solar flares, right? Uh, massive solar flare activity we're having. We just had an X-class the other day, multiple M-class flares every day. We're in solar maximum. And the sun, uh, it's not what you think it is either. I have some inside information uh, that I've learned that the Sun is actually one of the entry points where the beings outside of the simulation can enter and that's why we see extra tr or we see alien or interdimensional craft around the Sun all the time especially uh, these days every day we're seeing images uh, when people when these agencies are taking pictures of the solar flares and the Sun we're seeing crafts all around the Sun And uh, what I think is happening is, like I told you guys, we're in the middle of a war right now between good and evil. And uh, we got the bad guys and we got the good guys. The bad guys are looking to reset the world and transfer us into another AI simulation, a metaverse, right? But the good guys are trying to help us leave this realm and to ascend. So what are they doing? They are blasting high vibrational energy down towards the earth right now. 
through the sun, through the solar flares. And then the manifestation of that comes through the Schumann resonance after the solar flares happen and all the energies that are coming in from the good forces, okay? That's what's happening. That's what I believe is happening right now, my friends. So I think the energies that are coming in, being measured through the Schumann chart, is positive. And I do believe it's the light forces. However, it's only positive for those of us who can heal ourselves and raise our vibrational frequency and allow our body, bodies to handle the energy. Because those of us who do that, we're going to ascend and make it out of this matrix before the Nibiru event happens. There's two different timelines taking place right now. You got the uh, 3D timeline that's going into the NWO dystopian nightmare playing out. And then you got the 5D ascension great awakening timeline where those who are on that path are going to raise their vibration high enough outside of which this AI matrix operates on and we're going to have a much better apocalypse experience and we're going to go into a beautiful golden age into maybe a whole brand new simulation uh, that's more of a 5D higher vibrational more based on love kind of situation something like I don't know the specifics nobody does of exactly what's going to end up happening but it's something along those lines okay so those who cannot raise their frequencies cannot heal themselves have their chakras all blocked and uh, and who basically will not change their lifestyles to be able to handle these energies well unfortunately those people are going to have a really rough time struggling with the ascension symptoms and ultimately they're probably going to end up staying on that 3d timeline okay but for those of us who can raise the frequencies and heal ourselves well we're going to be riding the bliss train baby oh yeah it's, uh, like i said people who are already doing that they're loving these energies they're having beautiful amazing spiritual experiences and they're really benefiting from it and and like i said i'm, I'm right in the middle you know i do struggle a lot of days because i have a lot I'm working on myself uh, due to past choices in, in, in the past and uh, that I've made that were unhealthy but I'm getting myself healthy I've gotten a lot healthy if you've been watching my video for years you'll see the change in me and I'm not there yet but I've made a lot of progress and when I can just remain in the now moment to not let uh, worries of certain things get to me I feel good I feel amazing, I feel spiritual, I, I feel like I'm in another dimension. I am going through the shift, make no mistake about it. But if I get lost in my mind and get fooled by the ego, then I suffer. I've got to let the ego die, my friends, if you want to make this shift. So that's what's happening right now, and I do feel the overlords of this realm are about to do something really big. And that might be another reason why we're getting blasted this high vibrational energy. We know that they put in the thing that they wanted you to get, that they just got the whole world to take. You know, uh, they're putting it in the food now. And uh, maybe this is the only way that some of us are going to survive this, is having this high vibrational energy come in. So we could uh, raise our vibration higher than that thing they want you to get. Uh, so it's not effective on it, us, I don't know. Uh, and with the 5G, you know, I'm sure they got their 5G running right now, too, to try and counter uh, what's happening through the solar flares and the sun, whatever energy the light forces are beaming into us. So I'm sure we're experiencing some of that right now, too. And I do believe in the coming years, they're just going to turn the 5G up even higher. But I'll tell you, once the 5G is on full blast, everybody will be able to feel it. Uh, and no, people are not going to be having beautiful, wonderful experiences when it's full of 5G. No, it's going to be bad for everybody. Right now, you either got people who are loving the energy, people who are having a hard time because they're not healed, or a lot of the sleepers out there, people are still brainwashed, they don't even feel anything because they uh, are very unhealthy, right? And uh, their third eyes are totally shut and they don't feel the energy at all. Yeah, some have you. Do you feel the shoe? Oh, what's that? No, I don't feel nothing. Most people are that way. Once the 5G is going full blast, everybody's going to be affected. 
I don't believe we're at that point yet. I do believe, for the most part, this is good positive energy. And, you know, clean out your system, detox, and that's going to help you get going on the ascension journey as well. But make sure, if you're going to do that, that you're on the ascension journey, because if you're going to detox and all this stuff, but not better yourself, well, why would you want to... Uh, detox and make yourself live longer if you're just going to go down that 3d timeline which is going to be hell right so i do recommend detoxing cleaning out your liver is a great thing to do because everything that they uh are throwing at us affects the liver big time big time my friends uh the, and that's for a reason the liver detox is everything so make sure you look into a Welly's liver detox this thing is going to clean your liver right out my friends I, I've been taking it for a long time myself. I feel great. And, uh, yeah. And that's going to help you along in your journey because as you purify your body, then uh, you will start benefiting more from the ascension energies. But like I said, make sure you're healing yourself and doing everything you can to ascend because I wouldn't want to prolong my life just to go down the NWO dystopian nightmare at that point. I'd rather just, you know, say the heck with it, you know? Like, what? Well, that's just more suffering. So still, detox, do all those things, but make sure you're doing everything you can to ascend at the same time, because it, it is happening, and those who don't want to believe it, oh, that's new age mumbo jumbo, blah, 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 blah. Well, I feel sorry for you people who think that, because end of the day, that just means you're not going through it, because the people who are going through it know there's something to it, okay? Yes, our DNA is being activated. It's all very true. That's all happening right now, my friends. Okay? So I'm going to leave you guys with a couple videos. Uh, and then that'll be it for this video. I'm going to leave you with a video that's showing what the Schumann sounds, sounded like when uh, we had the crazy patterns going on there. Uh, which is a very cool sound. Uh, it's kind of eerie. I'll show you that. And I'll show you some Im images of Nibiru. And that's it, my friends. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Before I show you the videos, just encourage you one more time, subscribe, hit the like button. And if you'd like, check me out on Patreon where I got the Ascend to 5D class where I'm helping you guys uh, be able to learn how you could make the, the, the Ascension and uh, make the, the shift. Okay, and I got other great classes there. The Occult class, Health class, uh, Pleiadian channelings. All the links are down below. If you'd like to just simply buy me a coffee, that means the world to me as well. And that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And like I said before, you know, these are my opinions. I should mention, I forgot to mention, I did do a channeling on all this as well with the Pleiadians and they confirmed everything I was saying. But with that being said, use your own intuition. Let your intuition guide you. Because end of the day, nobody knows the full picture of what's going on. I could just tell you what my intuition is telling me. But my intuition may be different from yours. Okay, my friends? That's it. Stay strong. Keep your vibration high. And we're in for some wild times. But uh, as long as you are keeping positive, raising the vibration, you will make it. Okay, my friends? Lionel, signing off. Love you guys. Now check out these videos. And it's very there. Very there. That's the sun. <laughs> Mind blown. The matrix. <laughs> Watch how far I can zoom on this. That's a legit thing. That's the sun. What is that? Why can't I see it? I don't know. Why is it just my phone? there I just
Yeah, I'm amazed. God is kind of upset with me probably because I woke up and didn't say my prayers this morning, man. But I got woke up by this again in my face. What would you do? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that ball of light coming out of there. That's the sun coming out of what, though? Man, California ain't talking nothing about this. That's why I feel like I'm in a land of weirdos. And that is far from the only example of the second suns being sighted. It seems like they are being spotted more and more with frequent regularity in the last couple years. But I think it's the sign of this cycle of our realm, as depicted in ancient times in petroglyphs in India, Arizona, and even excerpts from the sightings of it in the 1600s. And even after that, many newspapers historically reference this second sun, sometimes even more being sighted in the skies. Some say it's Nibiru. Some say we're living in a binary system. Whatever it is, I think it shows once again, history most certainly repeats itself. Question everything, friends.